So hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus again and this moment I find myself in Jackson, Mississippi. I'm at one of the, what is this called, uh, Dominican Plaza Hospital. It's a hospital for various, various situations as all hospitals are. But I'm here today to deal with some issues that most people in this country have to deal with at one time or another. But as I sit here, I'm reminded of something else that is very essential that I should take a moment to draw attention to. And what that is, ladies and gentlemen, I, is our political situation here in this country. And I say to you, ladies and gentlemen, it's a sick day. We as American people, listen to me. I know you might find a thousand reasons or a million and one not to listen to me, but I invite you, do so anyway. We do not need another repeat of what we have been experiencing these past few years. Basically what I'm saying, we do not need a Republican president, and we do not need a Democratic president. In fact, we need something brand new before we got this Republican president, we had a Democrat. And whatever happened set up the situation for what we have today. And the truth of the matter, ladies and gentlemen, it is insufficient. We gotta change this stuff. When we find ourselves doing everything we possibly can to mislead, to deceive and guide, uh, misguide people, when you start making, taking pictures and presenting something that isn't even true just to give an impression of something that's fake that will cause people to think like you want them to think. What in the world have we gone to? You've accepted a president that stands up before you and tell a lie just as easy as the sun comes out and shine on a hot summer day. You got politicians in that same particular persuasion that will back up these lies. America, listen to what's going on. You got people who don't care about the truth. And just because your people seem they care a little bit more about the truth does not give them legitimacy. The only thing that gives people legitimacy, ladies and gentlemen, is for them to enjoy this life, to have purpose in this life, to engage themselves in this life. And the result is blacks, whites, men and women, people of color, everybody satisfied. If we can't do that, then what makes us better than anyone else? And if we are not better than anyone else that we're trying to put down, then we're being put down as well. What makes us good? What makes us good is when we do those things that are right. Well, I think I'm gonna lose, maybe not. And when we think of things that are right, what am I talking about? I'm talking about people having their needs and their wants and their desires met. I'm talking about people having their basic essentials for survival met, food, clothing, shelter, education, healthcare, and to make sure that these things are in an abundant supply. Everybody got a career engagement process. You play a part in the process of creation and that makes you part owner. And I say to you, all the resources of the earth came from God. They didn't come from men, they came from God. They were given to us, resources. And on top of all those resources that have been given to us, each of us require them and each of us participate in it. So they, everything that is made by the hands of man belong to all humankind. And these things, ladies and gentlemen, you don't buy, you don't go into debt for, you don't go into and, and own and slave them to someone else for. These things are yours because you participated. And you should have nothing but heaven on earth. You politicians don't know that because you're giving life to a system that robs you of that. So I'm saying to all politicians in this current American, current administration, all politicians all over the earth. I know you mean well, but you're working against God. You're working against peace for everybody. All politicians, you are working against peace for everybody. All politicians, you are working against prosperity for everybody. All politicians, you are working against housing for everyone. All politicians, you are working against careers for everyone. 
all politicians. You are working that some people will always be hungry. You are working and giving life to the fact that some people will always be homeless. You are working and giving life to the fact that some people will always be uneducated. You are working and giving life to the fact that not all people will ever be able to have health care. Now, you say, well, you're doing some good. No, you're not. You're just as bad as the devil. No, that pisses you off. I know it pisses you off because you don't want to hear it. But I guarantee you, those of you who are amongst you who want to experience these things I share with, they don't think I'm stupid. And they're not even angry with me. They're wondering what took so long for them to hear it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.